Barakata Yahawa, Barakata Yahawasha, Barakata Yahawa, Barakata Yahawasha, Bahashem, Rakakwadash, the honor to the apostles, the elders. Salutations to you, sincere brothers, teaching in truth and in sincerity. This lesson will be entitled Forever Young. Lord, will you are edified. This video was inspired by a video Apostle Gabar did, and his video is entitled these two men and the name of his page is Israelite. Her spirit came again and she rose straightway. So Yahweh had the power to call back her spirit into her body. And that's exactly what these two men, that's what's gonna happen. Okay, now are they gonna look the way they look now? I don't think so. Okay, they're gonna look much younger and vibrant. Okay. And that's the point, all right? We will never age in the kingdom of heaven forever young. Case in point, we'll be Yahweh Shai. Second Ezra 2 and 42. I, Ezra, saw upon the Mount Zion a great people, Israelites, whom I could not number, and they all praised the Lord with, with songs. And in the midst of them, there was a young man of a high stature, referring to Yahweh Shah, taller than all the rest. And upon every one of their heads, he set crowns and was more exalted, which I marveled at greatly. Verse 44. So I asked the angel and said, Sir, what are these? He answered and said unto me, These be they that have put off the mortal clothing and put on the immortal and have confessed the name of the Most High. Now are they crowned and receive palms. Verse 46. Then said I unto the angel, What young person is it that crowned them and give them palms in their hands? Verse 47. So he answered and said unto me, It is the Son of the Most High whom they have confessed in the world. The name of the Son of the Most High is Yahweh Shai. Then began I greatly to commend them that stood so stiffly for the name of the Lord. Okay. So Ezra saw a young man, taller than the rest, more exalted than everybody. Okay, referring to Yahweh Shai. Now, according to Revelation, the first chapter, one and one, the revelation revealing to, which means in the um, Greek, to make known and to declare, the revelation of Yahweh Shai Mashiach, which the Most High gave unto him to show unto his servants things which must shortly come to pass and he sent and signified it by his angel unto his servant John verse 2 who bear record of the word of the Most High and of the testimony of Yahweh Shah Mashiach and of all things that he saw let's jump down to get the description of Yahweh Shah Verse 13, Revelation 1 and 13. And in the midst of the seven candlesticks, one like unto the Son of Man, referring to Yahweh Shah, clothed with a garment down to the foot 
and girt about the paps with a golden girdle. Verse 14, his head and his hairs were white like wool, as white as snow, and his eyes were as a flame of fire. Verse 15, and his feet like unto fine brass, as if they burn in a furnace. Okay, so Yahweh Shah's skin complexion is extremely dark brown. Okay, and his voice as the sound of many waters, meaning what? He speaks with authority. But the point is, his head and his hairs were white like wool. So the hair on his head was white, woolly like type, and his beard was white woolly light type okay as white as snow and his eyes were as a flame of fire okay however in the kingdom of heaven Yahweh Shai looks like this Second Ezra 2 and 43, and in the midst of them, there was a young man of a high stature, taller than all the rest. And upon every one of their heads, he set crowns and was more exalted, which I marveled at greatly. A young man. All right. So in the kingdom of heaven, Yahweh Shai's hair will be black. His beard will be black and he will look young, forever young. All right. And, all right, if we are joint heirs with Yahweh Shai, we will look young. Our women will look young and stay young, okay? The entire nation of Israel will look young, okay? Jump down to 46. Then said I unto the angel, what young person is it that crowned him? And give them palms in their hands. Again, Ezra saw Yahweh Shah looking young. All right. <clears throat> and when Yahweh Shah was on earth 2,000 years ago, all right, this was his description. Okay. So the statement that Apostle Gabar made in the spirit makes perfect sense. All right. Forever young, Lord will you are edified. Shalom.